good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to some. Today is our second page in our mixed media journal, and today it's going to be a little bit about finding oneself. And so today we are going to we are going to start by gessoing these pages straight black. And so what I've already done is I've already got the gesso out. I'm going to gesso up these pages. You all may find that my dryer is a little bit loud. I didn't notice this until someone had let me know that the, the dryer was very loud. This may take two coats because the faces on here are a little bit bright, but no worries because we're going to be covering that up anyhow. But we just want to get the base coat on. If I have to, I'll go in with some black. Maybe. This should work. Oh. Okay. One side down. The reason I chose these pages is because the majority of it was black already. So, oh, I need to get me a paper or something because that's going to bleed. Yeah, there we go. Much better. And this is homemade black gesso. can see it covers really nice. Right. Get these things out of the way so I can move you up into frame. So y'all can see. Now there have there is a lot um, there's a lot of you out there that doesn't seem to know how to find yourself or your or your inner self and how to bring it out and through art and painting and things like that you'll be able to find yourself and find your niche or your niche as some people call it you just have to look real hard because sometimes it will come to you without even without you even looking for it. You will find yourself rather quickly if you look hard enough. Alright, now it's going to get loud guys. I'm going to see if I can mute you. Give me just a second.
All right, hopefully y'all can hear me. If not, just watch. All right, hopefully that you can hear me and hear my message. A lot of people seem to want to go on a journey. Well, today is a journey. And so today we are going to be working on what we're going to be journeying with. And a lot of people find that traveling across country is very peaceful. Me, I'm like a home girl. I, I like to stay put. But, you know, some people do like to travel. So I travel inside my own mind. This might be a little, a little weird, but I travel inside my own mind and I find places to go. Um, this is still wet, so I'm going to turn the dryer back on for just a minute. It's going to get loud, so I'm going to be quiet. So, as I was saying, we're going to take a journey in our own minds, in our own imaginations. And so, I'm going to travel inside my mind, and I'm going to draw something that I'm going to be traveling by. And please watch the, the hopefully it comes out the way I want it to come out. All right, so... I'm just using a regular number two pencil to draw this. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. This is just a rough sketch, guys. So don't knock me. see if y'all can figure out what my little mind has come up with on how we're going to travel. And now we'll start seeing it. Just be patient. Get me one of those nice drawing erasers, guys. So I do a lot of erasing. Okay, we'll use that. Can y'all figure out what we're drawing? Mm -hmm. Can y'all figure it out yet? Not the best drawer in the world, but once this comes out, it'll actually look pretty good. Y'all 
I haven't figured it out yet. We are going by train. So let's hop on our train express, our little caboose here. Well, not a caboose, but this is the front end of the train. And we are going to take a ride in our mind. Hang on just a second, ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching, give me just a second. about that. That was the honey bunny calling. Alright. Alright. Let's see. Where were we? Alright. We've got the little, little front here. just drawing our little details and we will paint these in shortly. I just wanted to get the rough sketch in. Those tracks might not be wide enough but you never know. We have to extend them out. Now this train is not going to be perfect. Not by any means. I'm not the most skilled artist, but I try to make things well simple. So that's okay. We'll be painting that. All right. Now, I think we've got most of what we want on here. Let's extend those tracks a little bit. I think that'll be fine. All right, so there's our rough sketch of our train. Y'all can see it. That's our rough sketch. So let's get to painting, and then we will work on the rest. All right, so I am going to start off with a silver. I'm gonna open it up with a silver metallic. Give it a little bit of oomph. Just shake this up and we're going to mix a little bit with it. Let's see. I'm going to add a little bit of a melted chocolate brown to this silver. Give it a little bit of a mix there. It'll give it like a really pretty brown tone to it. So we're going to fill this in back here. Let's 
going to be rough, guys. No judge. So we are taking a journey. What can you find? Do you want to find yourself? Let's hop on that train. Let's look out those windows if you have any. And just start looking around. It might not be on the first round when you find yourself, when you find your inner peace. Keep taking those trips. Keep taking those trips. Hopefully you all enjoy this. I may stay quiet a lot. I just want you to go on that little train ride. I want you to think about what makes you happy. What excites you. What makes you cry. What makes you mad. Find yourself. What emotions are you, are you harboring right now? Let your artwork speak. Find yourself in your artwork because you are who you are through your artwork. You express a lot of things through your artwork. If you don't know what to draw or you don't know what to paint, start with a doodle. Doodles are always fun. And from there, your simple doodle turns into artwork. Okay, I'm going to outline these as well. Just drawing in some of the details or painting in, excuse me. We are painting in some of the details that are going to be on this train. Now you may choose to paint your train or whatever vehicle you're taking in your mind mode of transportation you could be riding on a bicycle riding through town we are riding cross country on our train and on this train we're going to see a lot of things use your imagination uh oh I just put my finger right in all that paint but that's okay that is a character Gives it character. It's not where I wanted to plant my brush, but that was actually pretty good. My hands are wanting to shake. I need to do uh, 
sassy tease trick where you, if your hand gets nervous, take your piece of paper and just draw in circles until your hand quits shaking and then you can continue on with your artwork. I learned that a while back. I miss Miss T. She hasn't got any videos up this week. And I love watching her videos. So if you're a fan of her, y'all need to go watch her videos. She's very quiet. I love watching her create artwork. Just outlining these pieces in this color here so I can see them when I begin to paint. And I can see this train is coming to come into light. personally I don't think I've ever been on a train. I have. I don't remember. I do mind. I've been on a subway train but that's it. I can remember. Well besides you know if y'all have ever been to Dollywood I've been on that steam train but that's it. A subway train and a Dollywood train. If y'all have ever been. Y'all ever been to Dollywood? Or in other oh, folks, Silver Dollar City. Have I ever been on that train? I have many times. Used to have this little magic show right outside the train there. And we would go in there and we would watch the magic show before the train trip would pull up. And then they'd have a little shop where you could go visit after you got off the train. And had all these magic little magic trips in there. I used to love going in there and playing with the stuff. Mom would never buy us anything, I don't think. But we love going there and play off with all these little magic tricks and watch the watch the person come in and do more magic tricks and show all kinds of things. Y'all any do y'all any of y'all like watching magic? I do. I don't like spoiling tricks for people. I like the sheer joy of watching the magic trick. was little my daddy he would do all kinds of card tricks and we would be, be so amazed and he'd say the hand is faster than the eye always keep your eyes on the hands and we you know what he's right I love watching magic tricks but I'm always I'm always keeping my hand on what they're doing because sometimes they may talk and they may speak just to get your attention away from what they're doing with their hands a lot of it's done. It's a trick of the eye. Trick of the eye. And that's what I think art does for you. It, it, tricks you into a sense of well-being and makes you feel better about yourself. And that's why I like arting because it makes me feel better about myself and about the situations that are going on. So if you all are ever feeling down and you don't think you can go on, grab you a pencil and start drawing because you'd be surprised, like I said, at the artwork that you'll produce. As I said, your feelings are in your artwork. Your feelings are always in your artwork, no matter what. No matter if you try and hide it, they're always there. They're always there.
here we are at the final little bit here and then we'll add some of the details in here in just a minute Nope, we still got our little thingy down here. Be creative, guys. If you mess it up, slap you some paint over top of it, dry it, and start all over again. If you're not happy with it, it's just pencil, kitchen eraser, and you can erase it and start over. Draw or paint whatever makes you feel happy or at your best. This train may look a little wide, but I had to kind of fill the page, so it's a kind of big scale. I want you to find your journey. What journey do you want to go on? Where do you want to go? Find your place. We are almost 30 minutes in, and I'm going to try and make this under an hour. If I, if I don't make it, I don't make it. True artwork has never got a time limit. Alright, now we have our base. Alright, now I am going to come in with a little bit of white. I'm going to do a little bit of texture. Y'all may not, may, y'all may not know what I'm talking about. The texture is what gives the piece attitude. All right, I'm going to use a real stiff brush. I'm going to use just a touch of the spot, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to give attitude texture to this train. And I'm going to rub, blot, and rub, blot, and rub, blot, and rub. Pull a little bit of this brown and a little bit of this white. We're going to pull it together. And we are going to block in the front of this train. Don't worry if you get paint on your hands, it'll wash. I'm 
no many of y'all thinking, yeah, why don't you use the paper towel? And you can, you know, I like to feel what I'm doing. No, I like to feel what I'm working with. That actually did pretty good. Ma'am. I got a little bit of this dark brown here. Or, no, it's a soft black, excuse me. I thought it was brown, but maybe we can make it work with what I, with what I need it to do. bit of a, a lighter color here and I'm going to come in and give it a little highlight there. about got that front done. Go in with a little bit of white around the light at the top here.
This is supposed to represent the light at the end of the dark tunnel. Again here. We put a little bit of brown around the top there. Give it a little bit of a metal look. Y'all can see this train coming to life or not. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I know it's a quiet stream or a quiet video. You can fast forward me if you want to. Hit that little fast forward button. I don't mind a bit. And you don't have to sit here in silence and watch. But some people like that.
using the white to kind of accent things in the back that you can't see. My arm right in paint, guys. Y'all should tell me. Hey, doorbell. some accenting on this side just a little bit. I have no particular picture I'm following or anything. It's just in my mind what I want. But I have done my research though. So this is the train that stood out to me in my mind. What I wanted. So have you come on your journey? Are you are you painting your journey? Are you drawing your journey? If you are, I want to know. I want to see those paintings or drawings of your journey, of your creative journey. Where is it leading you? You may not even have a sketchbook. You may have just a piece of paper or an ATC or a tag. Draw it. 
Draw them out on a tag. Draw them out on an ACC. I want to see those. Where did your journey take you? Where did our art class take you today? Did it take you to the Bahamas? Did it take you to the beach? Did it take you across the country? Where did it take you? Pure gold, excuse me. And we're going to paint up. Add a little bit of this brown to the gold. And you're going to paint in between these. This grate on the train. After we get done with that, we are going to work on the other side. Well, not other side, but on the artwork. I'm thinking this book's going to be pretty big when I get done with it. It may go up for sale. It may just stay on my bookshelf to put in a look at. Who knows? Who the heck knows with me? I want to be able to share my artwork with people. Share the inspiration. some people that would like this book. If you do, let me know. I might be able to replicate some things. Alright, now I'll go over that with a little bit of this brown. Give it a little bit of attitude. a special little spot right here. And I'm going to put a series of numbers. Only I would know what they were.
<clears throat> Those numbers mean a lot to me right there. Y'all can't see them, so that's good. Alright, so we now have the train finished. And we are going to paint in the tracks. As you all know, train tracks had little beans that they ran on. Or big beans, excuse me. So you're going to mimic that. Tracks run off the page because we don't know where it's going. All right, got that part done. All right, guys, time to make the other decorations. I need to clean this up, so give me just a second. Because we're going to be in a series of blues. One of my favorite colors here lately is this uh, ultra blue. And we're going to use that color again. my little dauber thing again. These actually work. Got a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. But I'm going to use my little one instead of my big one because what I need it for guys I'm not covering the wheels up well I am but I'm going to be doing something with that I'm pretty sure you all know what that is right it's steam It is at night. It's going to look a little blue, and that's the way I want it to be. Now that we have that, 
We are, we are traveling. We are traveling. I need some more wires because that black death zone is going to drown out what I'm wanting. The effect will look like. We are traveling in our mind. You don't want any kind of real alcohol scenery, but I am making it where you can see a little bit of what's going on here. I need some dark green, and I don't think I have any here. So what we'll do, we will make do. A little bit of gold. A little bit. Not a lot. A little bit. Just a touch. Need a little bit of... A little bit of color. Almost like the sun's coming up on it. appearance of grass and things. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, I need some more paint though. Oh, wait, no, we still got gold over here. And touch of white. So we're going to mix all three of those colors up. Give that grayish look again. Load that paintbrush up. And you're going to make our rocks over here again. little eyeballs down on him. Going through the mountains, ladies. Because you never know in your mind. You never know what you see. I've got a little bit of light just peeking through my canvas here. 
and fill in a little bit of where I disappeared the trees. Make those out a little bit bold. We have been on a journey. In this mountain. We're going to come across a lot of things. What have you come across? Come across a lot of obstacles in my day. Here is our journey, guys. We have journeyed through the darkness, starting out dark. And as we drew the light, we saw that it wanted to peek through this dark forest. And so therefore, we see the light from our train. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little beam of light coming from our train. And I want you be I want you to be able to see past the darkness. I want you to see past the darkness. I want you to be able to see through all the hardships and all the hard times that you are going through. I want you to find your happiness. Alright guys, 
who she is. Here is our journey. And that's what I think I'm going to call this. I think I'm going to paint journey in right here. All right, guys. Here is our journey. Hopefully, you went along on our journey together. Hopefully, you were inspired to get out there and complete your own journey. Live your life. Find your happiness. And I hope that you can find some sunshine in your rays of darkness. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you are having a wonderful and blessed day. Hopefully I inspired at least one of you guys to get out there and uh, create and share your artwork. And if you are not a part of our Creative Jewels by Emily group, please head over to Facebook and join us. Share your artwork. Don't be scared. If you enjoyed today's uh, video, please hit that thumbs up and hit that red button down below that there so um, tell your friends about us and if you'd like to join our happy family come back and see me on my next on my next video or my next broadcast you never know with me all right guys I love you all and I hope that I will see you guys on my next stream there is a food for thought coming and I gotta think about it for just a second Let's see. Um, be your own cheerleader. Take note of your own progress, your inner strength. Be affirming and kind to yourself. Believe in yourself. All right, Jules. I love you all, and I thank you for coming, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.